Welcome to this week's Rockler demo. Modern style live edge tables with metal legs like this one have exploded in popularity in the last few years. Today, I'm gonna to show you how even a beginning woodworker or DIYer can build this table. But if you've ever shopped for one of those tables, you might have had a bit of sticker shock. The prices can be pretty steep, and with good reason. Big, beautiful slabs like that don't grow on trees. Wait, they actually do. Big, live edge slabs like that, in fact, do grow in trees. In any case, most of us don't have the equipment to mill our own slabs or have an easy source to pick one up. And metal legs like that, they're not floating around at every corner hardware store. On top of that, building a big dining room table can be intimidating. It's a big project, especially if you don't have a lot of woodworking experience or a lot of tools. Today I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to build one of those tables. It's actually so easy that I can show you all the tools I'm going to use before we start. I've got a drill driver, an impact driver, you could actually just use the drill driver, a ratchet with a 7 16 inch socket, glue, glue spreader, a couple clamps, a random orbit sander, and of course I've got a stack of bench cookies for when we're finishing the top. Now this is a big project in terms of size, but like I said, any DIYer can tackle it. Now let's build one of these tables and you'll see just how easy it really is. The top side of the boards is smooth and the underside of the boards have been pre-drilled with pocket holes so they're ready to assemble. The first step is to arrange your slabs face up on a workbench or sawhorses to create the appearance you want. I like to label the boards to make sure they stay in order. Okay, now that we have our layout done, it's time to flip the boards over so we can assemble them. And the important thing to remember here is you need to flip the boards end for end so that they stay in the same order. Next, apply glue to the mating edges of the first two boards. Spread the glue across the entire edge. This wood screw is a good solution for keeping the live edge side standing upright on the table. Lay the boards face down and press the mating glued edges together. Use a clamp to keep the top edges aligned. Then drive a Craig 2.5 inch HD pocket hole screw into the first pocket hole. Continue to drive screws into each pocket hole, feeling under the boards and adjusting the levels of the two boards to keep the tops flush as you work down the board. It's helpful to have another person to adjust the boards up and down as you work down the board. Repeat this process for the rest of the boards. Remove the loose bark with a scraper, draw knife, or chisel. Then hand sand or use a random orbit sander to sand the rough edges smooth. Sand both the bottom and top faces of the tabletop, starting with 100 grit and working up to 220. Move the sander slowly down the length of the table, overlapping the sander path with each pass. You can stain your table and then apply a top coat, but I chose not to stain it and apply a satin sheen oil and urethane top coat. I liberally applied the top coat to the entire surface, let it sit for a few minutes, and then wiped off the excess. I let the finish cure overnight, gave the surface a light sanding with 300 grit sandpaper or a scrub pad, cleaned all the dust, and applied a second coat. I repeated the process for a third coat of finish. I chose these V-shaped metal legs that we recently started to offer on our website. They're available in several sizes and shapes, both as bare unfinished steel and painted black. I went with the black finish. They feature slotted holes that will permit the slab top to expand and contract with humidity changes over the seasons, so the top won't warp or crack. Drive one screw through the center of each slot. So there you have it. As you just saw, this is a relatively easy project that can be completed in a weekend, plus a couple days for applying finish and letting it cure. This is a great way to get a one-of-a-kind live edge table for much less than the cost of buying one. And the best part is, you get the pride that comes with saying, I made this. I hope you enjoyed this project build video and picked up some tips along the way. It was a fun project and quick. I'm Dan Carey with Rockler and Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.